All right, today we're going to take a look at embedding a ConvertKit form into your WordPress website um, through the ConvertKit plugin. So a couple things that you're going to need. You will have to have a ConvertKit plan and a WordPress website to do this. So if you don't yet have a ConvertKit plan, there is a link in the description to either start a free ConvertKit plan. Um, and I did a video, a separate video on that if you want to check that out. Or there's also a link to start a uh, a paid monthly convert kit um, subscription. So if you have those two things, you have a Bluehost WordPress website and you have a convert kit plan, and you're ready to embed a form into your WordPress site and start getting some subscribers to your newsletter or to offer them a free download or what have you, then we're good to go. So go ahead and log into your Bluehost uh, WordPress portal, and you're going to go down to plugins because you're going to have to um, download the ConvertKit plugin in order to in order to do one way of uh, embedding this um, form. So I have already downloaded the ConvertKit plugin, but I'm just going to show you if you need to add a new one, you can click Add New up at the top, and then you'll search for ConvertKit, and it should be the first one that pops up um, with their logo. So you're going to want to install and activate that. And once you do, you can come down to settings, and it'll be, it should automatically be in the settings uh, as one of your plugins. Um, okay, so then once you have that, you're gonna need to go get your API key and your API secret from ConvertKit. Um, I have to blur those out, obviously, on my video here, but I'll show you. Uh, so go over to your ConvertKit site. You're gonna go to the top. You're gonna click on General. And that'll bring you, that's the page I'm already on, but it'll just refresh that real quick. And it's going to take you and show you your API key. So you're going to copy that. And then go back to paste it in down here. And then you're going to get your secret. Mine's, I'm not going to show it because it, it's a secret. <laughs> I'm going to keep that hidden. But you'll click show. You'll copy that. Go back and put that in the secret spot. And then you're going to click refresh forms. And that's going to show you the forms that you have already created in ConvertKit. Um, and so that'll that'll populate them. And then you'll come down to the bottom here, and you're going to click Save Changes. And that'll automatically embed that ConvertKit form into your website. So I'll show you real quick on my site. Um, kind of, we'll just pick a random page. We'll go to, we'll go to Food, Change Your Diet and then scroll to the bottom and it should be there because I just I just did this process earlier so let's go take a look and that new form should be down here at the bottom yep so that newsletter form is there ready to go um, yeah so people can type in their first name their address subscribe and then they'll be on your email list so it's as simple as that um, if you want to embed your forms another way you can come up here to landing pages and forms and then take a look at the form that you want to embed which is at the bottom and this will give you the editing platforms so you can edit it but then up here at the top is embed and then these are the different options you have to embed your form so you can uh, take the JavaScript the HTML there's a simple share um, if you wanted a URL and then this is the WordPress, uh, WordPress plugin shortcut if you wanted to copy that and put it into the code of your site and then unbounce so those are your options for embedding forms into uh, convert kit forms into your wordpress site uh, hopefully this has been helpful and have a good day thanks